Hey, what's up everyone? If you're tuning in this video, you probably know that Sony is shutting down the PS3, PS Vita, and PSP online digital stores soon. Hearing this news, a lot of gamers, myself included, decided it was time to make some last purchases on the PS3 store before it shut down. And to clarify, once the PS3 store is shut down, you'll be able to keep that content that you've already purchased, you'll be able to download it again, you just won't be able to make new purchases on the PS3 store. At least that's what Sony's announced so far. If you're watching this video, you might have run into the same problem that I did, where I made a purchase, but I was unable to download the content that I had just purchased. I instead was presented with an error code upon trying to download it. All right, so what I'm doing in this video is showing you a workaround that worked for me, that allowed me to download the content after making the purchase. I want to be clear, this problem is on Sony's side. It's widespread, many people are having this issue. This issue seems to be around the authentication of older devices like the PS3 on Sony's networks. There's been some word of mouth that Sony servers are probably overwhelmed by people trying to download content on their PS3 now. I'm not sure that's the case. So let's get into this workaround. And again, it's a workaround, it's not a solution. Sony needs to fix this on their side and hopefully they will eventually. If you don't wanna wait, this helped me out and might help you. So on my PlayStation account, the way I was set up, I do not have two-factor authentication enabled, 2FA. What I did for the workaround is I temporarily enabled TOFA on my account, set up my PS3 to sign in after those changes have been made, waited some time, and then I was able to download the content. Let me walk you through those steps. So first, head to a web browser, either on your computer or a mobile phone. Go to the URL store.playstation.com. Once you're here, sign in with your account. Once you're signed in, Open your profile settings that's in the upper right and then navigate to the account settings section. In account settings, navigate to the security menu and then under that area you want to navigate to two-step verification. In the two-step verify menu you can choose your authentication method. If you're doing this temporarily you can just use text message. Choose your mobile phone number from the list. If it's not here it will allow you to add it at this time. Once you choose the phone number it's gonna send you a text message with a code. Enter the code in the verification field here to verify that this is your phone. All right, next is gonna verify that 2FA has now been turned on and will present you a handful of backup codes. These codes can be used if for some reason you can't get to your verification device. In this case, it would be your phone. The site advises you to take a screenshot or copy these down in some form. If you're gonna keep 2FA on, do that. It's a good idea. If you're going to turn it off at the end, you don't really need to worry about this. These codes are generated every time you turn on 2FA. You can confirm that you've read this dialogue and the site will then prompt you to log in again. And this time it'll send the text message to your phone and you'll have to enter that in in order to log in as well. All right, great. Now, once you're here, there's another thing that we need to do. Now that you've set up 2FA on your PlayStation account, the PS3 actually does not support entering in 2FA codes on login. So instead what needs to happen is that you set up a device setup password. What this does is it generates a password that can only be used by a single device. In this case what you'll do is use the generated password to log into your account on your PS3. Once you've done that, that password can only be used for that PS3. Now don't worry about the permanence of this, you can undo all this and redo it again in the future if you want to. So on the security settings portion of the website, choose device setup password. Here, click generate new password. Once you've done this, you'll be shown the new password. Take a screenshot, write it down, whatever you need to do. Next, head over to your PS3 and in the crossbar menu, head over to the PlayStation Network section. If your PS3 had been left on during this process, highlight the account management section, press triangle to bring up more options, and choose sign out. If your PS3 was off while you were setting up 2FA, likely this area here will prompt you to sign in rather than having you sign out. Either way, you want to get into the sign in area. And in the section where you would normally enter in your PSN account password for sign in, you want to input the device setup password that we just generated. Make sure you check the check marks that will log you in automatically. If you did this correctly, 
your PS3 will properly log in to your PlayStation account. However, this by itself is likely not enough to allow the download of your content. I've tried this twice and in my experience, I needed to wait for some time before I was able to download the content again. So this is just me speculating, but I'm going to take a guess that whatever this does to your account on the Sony servers takes a while to propagate across them. So at this point, actually turn off your PS3 and walk away from it for some time. During the recording of this video, I walked away for about an hour. All right, now that you've given it some time, come back to your PS3, turn it back on. In the crossbar menu, navigate to PlayStation Network, Account Management, and then Transaction Management. If you had done the device password steps correctly, you should already be logged into your PlayStation account. It should not prompt you again. Under Transaction Management, you can navigate to Download List and see the list of content that you have attached to your account. It's from here then you can choose to download and hopefully it will let you download this time. All right, so if this worked out for you, I recommend leaving 2FA on for a while until you know that you've downloaded the content that you want for your PS3. Once you've completed any transactions you want, you can go ahead and head back to your web browser and disable 2FA if you want to afterwards. This will leave your account in the state it was likely in before you tried this process. Alright, thanks for checking out this video. I hope it helped you out. If you got a moment, leave a comment below and explain your experience. Hopefully it will help out more people who check this video out. I'm hoping this video is going to become obsolete really soon, meaning that Sony will have figured out how to fix the issue on their side and people won't have this problem anymore. But in the meantime, I'm hoping this unblocks a handful of you and lets you download the content that you've purchased. Alright, thanks everyone. Take care.